racing to the 2020 Kentucky Derby. Let's get an update of the Derby contenders here on Saturday, February 22nd, just a week away from the Fountain of Youth Stakes at Gulfstream Park. More information coming out on some horses that have been working out where they're going to be making their next starts. Let's start with the Fountain of Youth Stakes next Saturday at Gulfstream Park. And right now it looks like it's going to be a rematch of Chancet and As Seen on TV. They hooked up at Gulfstream Park a little over a month ago. They're going to come back and run against Dennis Moment, making his three-year-old debut. Possibility of still seeing Structor making his dirt debut in that race. And also Ette Indian, who is a runner-up to Tis the Law. Right now he is targeting the Fountain of Youth next Saturday. Nadal, the brilliant winner at Santa Anita in his debut. A horse that he beat in that race, Exalted, is going to be coming back, so we, maybe we can get a little bit more of a, a line on Nadal, the winner of that race. But Exalted has worked out a couple of times since his second place finish. He'll be running Saturday at Santa Anita. He was cross-entered at Sunland, but he is going to run in the maiden special weight at Santa Anita. A victory there that's impressive at the route distance, and we could be taking a look at him in one of the preps later on in March or April. Other prep race is coming up. Mr. Monomoy off that victory in the Southwest Stakes. Looks like he is going to wait for possibly the Bluegrass Stakes as his most likely final prep. Of course, that being at Keeneland and his half-sister, uh, Monomoy Girls, she ran and won the Ashland Stakes a few years ago. Meanwhile, Caracaro, who had the impressive win at Gulfstream Park, he has not worked since that maiden victory, and it looks like he is kind of off the trail at this time. Honor AP continues to work out towards the San Felipe Stakes. He'll get to match up against Thousand Words, and that, of course, is just two weeks away at Santa Anita. Biggest race on Saturday will be the undercard. It's a nice little allowance, non-winners of two. Impressive winner for Chad Brown, cost basis, comes off the layoff. Violent City, a maiden special weight winner, last out. And Silver Ratio, a winner for Todd Pletcher. Those three will hook up at Gulfstream Park on Saturday afternoon. So that's a look at some of the upcoming uh, prep races. Another horse that's targeting the Rebel, it looks like, Three Technique, who ran in the Smarty Jones. He did not run in the Southwest Stakes. It looks like he's still being pointed for the Rebel Stakes, and he'll get a matchup against Nadal. And so the horses and some of the races are starting to shake out right now. Where do you think Mr. Monomoy should run next? And what about Modernist? Should he come back to the fairgrounds? Or do you think maybe he should point to the Wood Memorial in a little bit shorter distance than that mile and 3 sixteenths, which is what the Louisiana Derby going to be this year? Hit the like button on this video, share the video, and remember, hit subscribe to be notified of all notifications of the 2020 videos. We've got recaps of the Southwest Stakes and also last week, the Risen Star Stakes and the Rachel Alexandra. Next week, we're going to have a preview of the Fountain of Youth, and we'll also take a look at the Saudi Cup preview, which is going to be the main older stakes race on that Saudi Cup card. So all of that coming your way as we race you up to the 2020 Triple Crown.